There is continuing street works around Orange Walk Town. This weekend, we spoke with Mayor Kevin Bernard, who shared the details of the ongoing works. Mayor Bernard said they had hoped to float a bond to do the much-needed street works. However, that did not work out. The Orange Walk Town Council had, had mentioned before you know, that we had initially wanted to raise a municipal bond. Um, unfortunately, we did not get to do that. Um, however, we looked at other options. Uh, and so we, we passed a resolution uh, where we decided to get into a financing arrangement with a private contractor. Uh, this will allow us now to see the refurbishment, uh, rehabilitation of 10 major outlets in our town. Um, in addition to those 10 streets, however, we are also doing other streets um, that the council had already been engaging uh, over the past few months. Um, for example, the street right here at San Andres in front of Muffles, uh, that was really, really dilapidated. Um, we are going to be resurfacing that, putting two coats of paving. Um, we have yesterday placed the first prime coat on Betias Lane, that's the, the, the street that runs in front of the Popular Bakery and connects to the highway. Of course, in addition to those uh, streets, we have the other streets such as the Arthur Street, um, Progress Street. Uh, we want to pave Tate Street that runs in front of Chapels High School, Chapels uh, Primary School. We also have the connecting um, street, which is Munoz Lane. Uh, we are also going to be doing Cinderella Street. That's another major street. We want to save that street, so we want to be resurfacing that again and put two coats of paving also on, on that street. Uh, we are also going to be seeing the, the paving of Oleander, the second coat being placed on Oleander Street. Uh, we had recently done that a few months back, and so we go putting down the second coat, and also Orchid Drive. Uh, that's the street that runs from the Northern Medical Plaza down to Clark Street. Uh, those are some of the main ones. In addition to those other streets that we, as part of this project, uh, we are also working on San Francisco Street. That's another street that was really going uh, and a portion of Stadium Street, which we are resurfacing as well. So in, in total, we're talking about right now, within the next two months or three, you should see um, the paving of almost 13 streets being done here in Orange Walk. Mayor Bernard shared that following the first phase of the project, a number of other streets will be given attention. He said the project will cost about a million dollars. Well, we are talking about no less than a million dollars, a little over a million dollars uh, this project is costing us. But this is going to be paid off over a period of time. Uh, we are talking about within eight to ten years, uh, where, of course, consecutive council will have to bear the cost. But at the end of the day, it's a benefit to the people of our region of town. Uh, we couldn't afford to pay the whole million dollars in just the end of this term. And so we had to ensure that we could, we could have looked at it. Um, and it's so unique that we have a split council, so we were able to make that decision uh, together uh, and so that at the end of the day it benefits all our residents. Mayor Bernard said there are plans for some work to be done at the Fort Cairns market next year as part of a project funded by the European Union. Right now our focus is on street infrastructure. Um, I had mentioned these streets just now but simultaneously the council is also will also be working on other areas in the east. For example we want to we want to focus on Rio Bravo Street we want to be able to reseal that street. We want to work on portion of Liberty Avenue that is also in a terrible condition. We want to put the second coat on Mahogany and Sapadilla Street. We're talking about Nargosta and Santa Maria Street. Those are another connecting streets. We want to reseal, uh, put the second coat on Muffle Street. That's another street. I forgot to mention that Santa Ana Street was also part of this, this, um, these 10 original streets. Uh, that's the one that runs from Shell to Nahil Mayab. Uh, as well, in the lower Louisiana area, there are certain streets like Cabbage Street, Tangerine Street, um, Palmetto. Uh, those are streets that all connect each area. Uh, so we want to be able to, within now and the end of this term, having looked at the project uh, and, and looking at our finances, of course, uh, we're going to be stretching out those projects and so that we could, at least by next year, mid-June, we should be completed with these works. And so you should see at least about another, overall, about 20 streets being far uplifted. So I think that is going to be good. Of course, at the same time, we are looking at the enhancement of the market area, um, the Fort Cairns market, uh, through the EU funding. Um, at some point in March 2017, we should see that project started, uh, where we'll be re rehabilitating the market, expanding the market, and offer more opportunities to our local vendors. 
The Orange Walk Town Council has partnered with one contractor to carry out the works.